Hi, this is Natalie Rydstrom and you're watching SBR Picks. Now, one of the first matches to kick off Premier League Saturday action is Aston Villa versus Stoke. And here now to run through the match and give us his predictions is Stuart from TalkingTipsters.com. Stuart, thank you for joining us and tell us what Talking Tipsters is about. Hi, Natalie. Uh, Talking Tipsters is about finding the very best tipsters and giving some real in-depth reviews. We're just finishing up a six-part review on the tip machine, who's a not new tipster. He's been around for a while, but uh, he's a tipster that has escaped a lot of people's attention. So if people are interested in that kind of thing, they should head on over and have a look. OK, I look forward to checking that out. And uh, the link can be found in the description right below this video there. Now, finally, here's a match with some decent odds on the winner's market for you, Stuart. Uh, Aston Villa, 2.63, Stoke, 3, and the draw, 3.2. Now, Aston Villa is in the relegation zone. They're under a new manager, and they have the home advantage. But personally, I'm leaning towards the draw or possibly the away win based on stats. Do you agree? Uh, in terms of stats, uh, it's very, very difficult because all of the Aston Villa statistics so far have been built up under Paul Lambert. And uh, I, I personally think Paul Lambert is a good manager who didn't quite get things right at Aston Villa. I, I think he's going to do well in the future. But uh, now they've got Tim Sherwood, which is going to provide a whole lot of new fun. And also, it's a very, very different way of playing. Mm -hmm. Will you play the winner's market? Uh, no, I will not play the winner's market. I, I think it's just a little bit too risky for me. This game could go any of the three directions. I mean, you, you look at it and there's reasons for it. You're going to get the new manager bounce for Aston Villa. You've got both sides cancelling each other out, going for the draw. You've got Stoke, who didn't do particularly well, or in fact did very badly in the FA Cup, and they're going to want to get back into form and will want to play themselves in. So this game could go any way. So I'm avoiding that market. Yeah, I think that's why the odds makers have put such tempting odds there. They're trying to lure you in. It is, it is tempting, but uh, maybe we should resist on that one. Now, the reverse match back in August saw a single goal from the villains. Uh, do you have a lean on the total goals? Lean on total goals? I think, I think I'm going to go for the overs, actually. This game, I think, will have some goals in it. Stoke have got some good players. They can score some goals. Uh, I think a lot of people haven't really given them enough credit for the way they've turned their, their play around. I mean, they were the epitome of a long ball side, and that, that's definitely gone out the window now. Yeah, sure, there's the occasional long ball that still gets pumped up, but... Most teams do that, so I wouldn't hold that against them. But uh, the main reason I'm going for the over 2.5 is because I think just the way Tim Sherwood plays, he plays an open attacking game. Mm -hmm. and uh, I suspect he's going to be talking to players like Benteke and Bondahor and uh, Feynman and saying, look, go out there and play a game that gets you goals. And yeah. I can see this going over. Uh -huh. Does that then point to both teams scoring? Uh, and that's price two at Bet365. Yeah, that's a pretty good bet. Um, you know, Villa have shown that their defence is not the greatest this season. I think they've looked best when they've played a more open midfield and had some passes of the ball in there. So I think uh, Tim Sherwood's was going to try and go for that and, you know, really open the side up and try and get them scoring more goals in the opposition. Mm -hmm. OK, and price two there, doubling your money. You can't argue with that one. That's if the bet comes in. Now, what mm -hmm. are your predictions for this match, Stuart? Well, my prediction for this match is actually to go over 2.5 goals, as I said earlier. Uh, there's a whole wide range of odds available for this one, and some of them are very, very tempting. But I think that anything over 2.3 should really be taken, and you can get out of a lot of tips, a lot of bookies right now. Mm -hmm. OK, wonderful. Uh, Stuart is from TalkingTipsters.com. You fi can find the link in the description below this video if you want to check out Talking Tipsters. Stuart, thank you for joining us today. Thank you.